You know, your hair's looking kind of nervous. Yeah, very. Kelly! Corey! I thought you are in Athens! I lied. I was on my way back and I thought about telling you, but I saw it. Surprise her. Oh. <laughs> I can't believe you're back. OK, I've got to go now. Mm -hmm. What's the rush? Well, everyone's waiting. I'm a model for Bree's hair show. A model, huh? This is supposed to be funny. You're making me think that you were never coming back. Just a joke. For 24 hours. You're a bastard. <laughs> Listen, Kel, I've had some time to think about what I want to do and where I want to be. Then I got this call, and it's the perfect answer. I've been offered this footy job up in Brisbane. It's a great deal. Even comes with a house on the river. Sounds amazing. I want you to come with me. Just like that? Well, there's a psych department at the university, and it's a great one. And you'll get a job, no worries. Look, it'll be great. But it'd be different, you know? What about all my friends? Well, they can come and visit us. Or we can come and visit them. We'll be the ones with the great weather and be sunny all year round. I just want us to be together, Kel. For good this time. I'm not trying to make you do anything, Lucy. You don't love me, you don't want to marry me, that's OK. But I wanted you to know how I felt about you. I thought I knew the life we wanted. I even saw something on the net that made me think of you, so I bought it as a wedding present. What is it? It's the house behind you. Oh, my God. We all have a vision of what our perfect life should be. Sometimes that vision's been in our heads for so long it can eclipse everything else. It's just like one I dreamt. You know how some houses just make you feel like people would be happy in them? That's what I always wanted. Thank you. I hope you don't think it's a, um, look, here's a house, marry me thing. Like a dowry? Yeah. I just, it just meant I love you. Oh, I'm so nervous, I'm shaking. You okay, Kelly? Your scalp looks really tense. Yeah, I'm fine. People lie, scalps don't. Corey's been offered a job in Brisbane and he wants me to go with him. It's a great opportunity. For you or for him? Sorry, I'm sorry. I came out all wrong. Cal, I need you here. Not just now, but like always. You're my idol in life. When would you go? I haven't said I'm going anywhere. I mean, not yet. I need time to think. Yeah, well, don't do it now, because it's playing havoc with your scalp. <laughs> so, this is what a hair show looks like. <laughs> Did you bring beers, mate? Not exactly. What's wrong? I'm not feeling well. Maybe we should do this another day. Come on, Adam, you can do this. I'm here. All right, let's go. No, I stay here. What? You have to do this by yourself, Adam. He wants to meet his dad. And that's me, right? Yeah, that's you. So if you get into trouble, just start flapping your arms around as though you're drowning and I'll be there. OK. Wish me luck. <laughs> Finding happiness for your whole life can sometimes come down to one moment. Trying to make that moment absolutely perfect. Say hi. I have to 
touch Mark Cannell just once, you know, for luck, so he knows who I am. Well, he was just here. We have to find him, Justin. We will. We will. All right, you look in there. I'll go over here. Yes, ma'am. Blow the king. Oh, yeah, blow the king. See. Well, that's what I'm like, spontaneous and thoughtful. Yeah. Thank you. Mm. We kissed. Stu, I'm sorry. Well, I mean, you kissed him goodbye, though. I don't know. I have to be honest with you, Stu. I... I don't know. We'd like to thank all our sponsors... How are things backstage? Tense. Very tense. You OK? You look a bit shaken. <laughs> I, um, just walked in on Jeff blowing Mark Cannell. Oh, God. Mm. I can't tell Brie that, can I? Oh. She's so up to win this thing. If she loses, she'll think it's because she's no good. Look, she said Canal's all about the hair, so maybe it won't matter. And we are taking the dimmest view of Jeff's motivations. Thank you once again. Jeff, what? And now we come to the most exciting, innovative section, the avant-garde. <laughs> Where the winner, remember, will be spending six months with me at my Knightsbridge Hair Academy. You're going to get to meet all my friends, Fergie, Kate Moss and all the rest. OK, Pussycats, you've got one hour. Your time starts now. Everyone has a different idea of what perfection is, of what looks good, or what will make them happy. Some have a couple of different ideas. How can you judge the best one? You have 12 minutes, Pussycats. This is riveting, isn't it? Can't believe it's not a TV sport. <laughs> Shut up. Give Brie your positive energies. Give it up, Brazer. First London, then the Big Apple. You haven't seen my big finish? What big finish? Yeah, what big finish? I okay, well, it's just trash talk. Six minutes. Go, Bray! Doing great. I feel very volcanic. Sixty seconds. It's amazing. The talent on this stage is quite brilliant. It really is inspiring for me to see these, these young artists create. However, there can only be one winner. And that winner is Jeff Bishop. Oh!